The environment often kind of, kind of just serves as a backdrop or the stage on which historical events take place, when in actuality uh, the environment is really uh, very critical to how those events unfolded. Natural resources are the reasons a place is chosen to build on. You need a clear viewshed, good water, plenty of game, and good forage for your animals. Building materials are needed too, so a nearby source of timber, stone, or in the case of Fort Union, clay and straw for adobe, those are also considerations. Fort Union was established in 1851. It was a big deal. It's on the Santa Fe Trail where you've got commerce coming and going and the trade from Missouri to Santa Fe, New Mexico. 900 miles by wagon, five to six months in the beginning, was incredible. In the 1860s and 1870s and 1880s, when Fort Union was running full steam, this place was a, a miniature city. Over 2,000 people were here on any given day. And as wagon trains pulled through, this was their first site of civilization. And what's you know, incredible about it is, you know, it does tie in directly to the natural resources in the region because it's built out of the earth right from here. What we do is uh, uh, mud plaster or adobe walls. Uh, we usually go through all the walls once uh, during the summertime. We get people, outside people, to help us out. Uh, they come and help us for a couple of months. We make our own adobes. Uh, we get our soil from the surrounding area. Soil and sand, mix it together. And that's what we uh, use to, to preserve our walls. Ryan, right now, this is one of the areas that was uh, pretty much uh, peeled off. Yeah, he's doing the third uh, uh, coat on, on this wall right here. And it's not a solid code all through the wall. It's just, we're just doing, doing patches right now. Preserving the monument is um, it's an all hands on deck year round project. Um, if you look around, the ruins are what they are. They're adobe ruins. They're very fragile and they're very subject to the weather, the wind, the rain, the hail. I know we tried to get a line here. All right, you ready? Back to down, tie around. There's plenty. There's one for everyone. Parents, if you guys work with our preservation crew and actually apply the adobe to the walls so that when you come back with your parents, you can look at this building and say, yes, that building stand because I helped make it stand. And it is protected and preserved so that other people can come in and see it. Small mammals and birds do like our adobes and wherever they find an opening either at ground level um, or up in, in the adobe such as a chimney port where the stove uh, might have exited out and up to the chimney, we found that birds and small mammals really, uh, really like those areas. They're protected, they're sheltered from the weather all year round. So we do have to manage the adobe structures and make sure that we are closing off the entrances as we learn that, that uh, an animal has made a nesting cavity back down in there, whether it's at the ground or inside the adobe wall. People living on the land shape the natural resources around them. During the fort period, these grasslands were pretty depleted, but they've recovered well in the absence of activity. But remnants of the fort period are still seen in plant communities. The depressions left from the Santa Fe Trail and utility trails provide unique microhabitats. They catch moisture and the ground stays moist longer because there's a bit of shade early and late in the day. Some species here at Fort Union are only found growing in the ruts. 
Places where there were outbuildings or holding pens still show the outlines of these areas in the types of plants that grow there today. It is noticeably different from the surrounding prairies. The Santa Fe Trail comes from this direction and comes right through the forts. It, it's drama just standing out here. You can see I'm being buffeted by the wind. It's all about the landscape and the drama. The monument is, is a place that people can come, visitors can come to this particular park and learn the stories about how Fort Union and the Santa Fe Trail come together here and why they're important to the American public. 